everyone. Welcome to Make It Monday. My name is Leslie and I am the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we are going to be making symmetrical snowflakes. The cool thing about snowflakes is that they are, they have six sides and all the sides are the same. And so if you fold a snowflake, if imagine a snowflake is a piece of paper. If you fold it in half, it's going to be the same on each side. Um, so I find that very, very cool. And I thought that today we could play with some symmetry to make some snowflakes. Let's go over the materials we'll need. First of all, you will need a piece of paper. Um, a piece of construction paper is ideal. I cut mine into a square because I, again, we're talking about symmetry. We want everything to be on the same. We want the sides to be equal length if possible. We also have some Q-tips and I've cut some in half. We've got twisty ties and I have some random shapes cut out of paper. So I've got some circles, some triangles and hexagons, um, cotton balls, and then of course our trusty pencil, scissors and glue. So gather those materials and let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is start with the middle of the snowflake. And since snowflakes have six sides, I thought it would be cool to start with a hexagon. A hexagon is a six sided shape. I have drawn um, one here. You see, it kind of looks like a diamond, but it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that will give us good guidance for where to place the other parts of the snowflake. So glue that on right here in the middle of my paper. And then I am going to use these twisty ties to make little rays coming out from the points of my snowflake. And it's good to lay them on the, pe the paper first to kind of see if you like the way it looks. Okay, so I've got these all glued down. And now what I'm going to do is I want to fill these little parts in with something. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Q-tips that I've cut to make this a little more interesting. So I'm gonna lay these out and check out how they look. And then I'm gonna glue. I thought about just leaving my snowflake as is, but then I decided that I wanted to add in just one more element and that is triangles. I have these little pieces of these little triangles that I've cut out from um, just regular pieces of white paper and I'm going to put them right here above my Q-tips and then we will have a very interesting and completed snowflake that is symmetrical. You see there are one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And we have, you know, we, we've got six lines, six Q-tips, six cotton balls, six triangles, and then of course the middle part. So I'm going to glue those down and then we will be finished. All right, so I have my completed snowflake here. And we did it all with household objects, things you can easily find around your house. And you could, if you happen to have some glue or something, I mean, some glitter, you could add um, glitter to that. I don't have any glitter. There's lots of things you can do to kind of make this your own. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. It should be however you want it to be. It also doesn't need to be perfect. That's something that we always should keep in mind. What matters is that we have fun. And I had a lot of fun making this snowflake. I think it's gonna look really awesome hanging on my wall. 
And I encourage you all to grab the materials and do the same. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Make It Monday. And I will see you next time. Thank you.